The Smithsonian Institute has kicked off its 45th annual Washington Folklife Festival. Visitors are learning about the country of Colombia in South America, the Peace Corps, and the history of rhythm and blues. Cultures of several African countries are also being highlighted, including the Sun people of Botswana. It will be a privilege for you to say, the audience got a lesson in one of the languages spoken by the Sun people of Botswana. The giraffe dance group hails from Western Botswana. The group is spreading awareness about the rich and diverse culture of Botswana. The Sun, who are also referred to as Bushmen, are traditionally hunters and are indigenous to Southern Africa, spanning areas in several countries, including South Africa, Mozambique, Swaziland, and of course, Botswana. In the group, it's the group's first visit to Washington, and leader Kwele Kiema says they're pleased with their first trip. Yeah, this dance is a tra tra very, very traditional dance. Um, for many years, it has been performed. It's a traditional religious music of the Sun people, the Kalahari. So it is meant to, to appease the, the ancestral spirit and so on. It's means for worshipping and also healing and those are sick and all any social or community problems that exist. So it's a religious music. Many of our friends have even been asking us that, uh, do, do, do you know about uh, this film, God Must Be Crazy, and they've been reading about us, but we are very happy that uh, a small culture from Botswana is here in, in Washington, and that uh, we are sharing our culture with a multitude of people here, and uh, young people have been participating, learning quite a lot of our culture, and we, very, we are very happy about that. I'm going to share with you a short story. We are speaking Naro. Um, in fact, I'm not a Naro speaking, but my language is Gui, but my colleagues all speak Naro. That's a, one of the sun languages uh, in Botswana. Now, another indigenous group from Africa is the Samburu people from northern Kenya. We'll have more on these featured artists for you next week. The multi-weekend folklife festival in Washington ends on July 11th.